What's going on YouTube? So today we're going to do some pepper reviews. If you enjoy the video, like, subscribe, uh, comment anything you'd like to say, and uh, yeah, hit post notifications for all upcoming videos. Thanks. You know, as of the time recording this video, I actually am going to post this one first of some of the other pepper reviews I've done. I just posted a video about which plant y'all would like me to overwinter, and I was really expecting y'all to say ghost. Everybody kept saying yum yum. Well, you know what, fellas? This is the yum yum. Today we're going to do a review on the dang yum yum. One that was highly requested, actually. Bright red. The size of about two grapes stacked on top of each other. Very small. Whereas another size comparison. About the size of the top part of my thumb. These grow amazingly. I've probably pulled 60, 70 pods off of just one plant this year, and it was a very small plant, first year plant. I mean, but I did grow in a five gallon bucket, and it's grown a lot since then, but it was, I mean, it was a twig when I got it, and it, it's been producing a lot, and it actually produced the entire time it was growing as well. I mean, it wasn't a late producer, it, it started producing and it kept producing. Let's go ahead and get a cross section and a smell, and let's see what we're working with. Low amount of seeds, thick wall, you can see how juicy that is, super juicy pod, good meaty interior, smells very sweet, very mild, ooh sorry, not very floral, it's got a very sweet, flowery, not floral as in like cut grass, but floral as in like a bud of a flower. Very sweet, good smelling uh, pod. Yeah, like I said, it's super juicy. Let's go ahead and taste this. Now this is an odd one. It is super sweet. Little acidic. Good and crunchy, but very chewable, nice and soft. What is odd about this pepper? And I'm going to see if I can put this into words. It tastes spicy, but it has no heat. Zero heat. But when you first bite it, the flavor you get makes you immediately think it's about to burn the hell out of you. But it is not hot at all. This is probably the best pepper I have grown this year for the family. My entire family enjoys eating them. This is the most practical pepper I've ever had in my life. They are good in eggs. They're good in roast. They're good just pan fried. They're good raw. They are good pickled. These things are the easiest, most diverse peppers I have. They're absolutely awesome. They produce like wildfire. This is the way to go. Grow these, guys. Grow these if you want to grow anything in a garden. The Yum Yum brand is by far the most used pepper I have out of all of them by my family. My entire family will go pick them and use them and eat. We'll all eat them. It's actually been hard to keep any on the plant lately. I've had a few on there here now. Because I'm about to do some overwintering stuff and I'm going to shed them all down. But these are great. They really are. I would give these a 10 out of 10, 100%. Um, growing them was super easy. They get a lot of water. They get a lot of sunlight. You know, the general stuff. But the, the weather conditions haven't really affected it much. And the root system and everything in them is really strong. It hasn't even been blowing over much. It's, it's a good plant. And... Yeah, so, and it wasn't hard to find. I found these at my uh, local uh, produce shop, and I was able to pick two of these plants up. No issue. I really hope you enjoyed it today, guys. Once again, I would grow these. If I've ever recommended one, I'm telling you, it's this one. Uh, Y'all stay blessed, fellas. I hope you enjoyed it. 